Good morning, students, teachers, and staff at Bataan. Could I please have your attention for our morning announcements? Just a reminder, please make sure you're dressing for the weather each day and you're ready for recess. That means you need to have hats and gloves. It is cold outside. We will be going outside as much as possible. Just a reminder, this week is our book fair that will take place all week from December 5th through December 9th, and you may visit during your library time. We have a lot of upcoming dates. Monday, December 12th, we have a two-hour delay for all students. We have our teacher enrichment that day. December 12th through December 16th, the holiday store will be open. You can purchase items once again during your library time. On December 14th, the intermediate students will participate in White Christmas. And also on December 14th, our fifth grade students will be going on their music holiday tour. December 22nd through January 2nd, there is no school for students for our winter break. At this time, if you would please stand, put your right hand over your heart, and together we will say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may stay standing for a baton pledge. At Baton Memorial Elementary School, we work together to do great things for others. We have relentless pursuit of growth to get better every day. We own it. We own our actions and choices. We want to be the best version of ourselves. You may have a seat. Today for lunch, we will, today is Tuesday, December 6, 2022. And for lunch, we will have chicken patty sandwiches, baked beans, fruit, and milk. We have one birthday to celebrate today. Happy birthday to Grayson Neff. We hope you have a great day. As a reminder, as part of our BBO, we can focus on the word together, which goes great with our theme this month of taking time to care, connect, and listen to one another. When we are together, that means that something you can do is to listen. Listen to your friends, listen to your teachers, listen to others who are speaking to you. You also can care. You can show you care in many ways by making eye contact with someone. That could mean you care by um, reaching out and helping someone. There are a lot of different ways that we can show people we care. And the last one is to connect. Sit by someone new, make a new friend, look for someone outside at recess that you don't normally play with, that you could go ahead and do something with at recess. Connect with others. Maybe that might even be connecting with your teachers as well. Remember here at Bataan, as we're going about our day, we will have many events come our way. And when those events come our way, we have to control our responses. And to do that, we have to press pause and stop. We have to get our mind right and think. We want you to step up and that's where you're going to make an above the line choice or action. And then we have to adjust and adapt or reflect upon the choices that we have made. This month, we are taking time to care, listen, and connect. Maybe that's something that you can do today. Look at others while they are talking. Take, take interest in what they are saying. Really listen to what people are saying. Be an active listener. That means you're looking at them, you're involved in their conversation, and you're really tuned in to what they are saying. Make sure you're using self-control here at school. Make sure your hands, feet, and other objects are to yourself. Think first, then act. You are in charge of your own actions and words. Please make sure you're respectful with those actions and words. Remember, use our E plus R equals O. We know we have a lot of events. We can control our response so we get a better outcome. Just a reminder on our playground, make sure you're lining up quietly, taking turns while playing, following the directions that are given to by the recess aides, and keeping your hands and feet to yourself. We do not have any physical contact out on the playground. Make sure you're using our equipment appropriately. And in the lunchroom, make sure you're making above the line choices using an inside voice level. When the adults ask you to listen or they get your attention, you need to stop talking and give them your full attention. Clean up your area, use your manners, and when it's time to leave the cafeteria, you need to walk outside along the arrows quietly. Today is Tuesday. We will have our bell choir practice today with Mrs. Farrell during lunch. And today for Tuesday, group two for third grade art club, Mr. Ferdinandson's students and Mrs. Lohman's students may go to the art room during that time. 
And we do not have any academic congratulations today, but we do have some special winners. Um, our primary building um, did a special scavenger hunt with their new reading program. And the students were asked to use a QR code and follow in how to log in to this system from their home so they can have extra practice at home. And we have some special winners who completed this activity and turned in their um, slip. So the winners will get two books and a special treat. Great job to all the students who practiced um, going on to the CKLA website at home. Special congratulations to Mrs. Carmen's class, Epiphany Dag, Ms. Short's class, Kinley Tork. In first grade, Ms. Sarasco's class winner, Noah Daniels, and in Mrs. Barnhill's class, Brantley Franks. And in second grade, Mrs. Krylik's class, Brantley Caputo, and Mrs. Gillum's class, Archer Jackson. Congratulations to those students. And just a reminder, we have a hoop shoot coming up this Saturday, December 10th. That will be at noon at the Port Clinton High School gym. This is a free activity, free event for ages 8 through 13, boys and girls. This week, our primary students are working on a winter reading challenge. Please make sure you are doing the activities on that winter reading challenge, and you need to turn in your paper by December 9th to be entered into the drawing to win the special prizes. And our Baton Intermediate students will be participating in the 12 Days of Christmas themes. Tomorrow, you may wear some holiday bling. That means if you have any holiday accessories you would like to wear, you may do that here at school and wear those items. I hope everybody has a great day. Think about the choices that you're going to make. Make those above the line choices. Work hard in your classes and do your best. Go Skins!